The theme of time really comes into visual play in the clock tower scene, which literally Spider-Man's battling Goblin among the gears of a clock. I think one of the nice things about the clock tower was that because they built a set and they shot actors and stunt doubles on the set, we did get that richness that we were able to model our CG after and integrate it with, and I think it really helped. We were gonna do a lot of compositing tricks for the Goblin, because he was shot on a moving platform. And it turns out, you know, as, as so often happens, we get it into our world and discover we can do other things and maybe with a little trickery and uh, sort of developing the rigs, the animation rigs to a point where you honestly can't tell the difference between the practical element and the CG element. And all of a sudden it just opens it wide open to doing what we need to do and making it a complete digital character. And where it was only intended, just like in the first Spider-Man, Spider-Man was really only intended to be seen, you know, this big in the distance as a CG character. And as it evolved, obviously you became more prominent, and I think that's what happened here as well. Quick, run! Ah! Harry! Harry, put her down! 